Hello everyone and welcome back to my LP of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, I went through pretty much all of Kakariko Village has to offer, even though there are a couple of spots that I cannot access or use yet until a little bit later in the game. Then I did a little bit of gambling, once right here in this house and then in another location in the Lost Woods, where after going through both of those, I actually made a profit. Yay! Also, I got another heart container by finding four pieces of heart. This time around, I head towards the Eastern Palace, east of Hyrule. Along the way, I might take a little bit of a detour to find some useful stuff. Oh yes, I gotta go this way too. You get here. I need to go up here. What a pleasant tune- whoops, uh-oh. He must be really shy. But, that is the son of the father that's in the bar of Kakarika Village, the one he talks about, the flute playing boy. So, with that out of the way now- ooh, we got a free bomb. Sometimes they do appear under bushes. Run away, soldiers! And some soldiers have a bow and arrow instead. We're almost back at my house. Should be right up here somewhere. Oh, let's get, take care of the soldier next. And there it is. Oh, oh, rock. This is what I meant about the some rocks having some glitter. And then the last couple of strikes, they give you bombs. Can I get this? Okay, good. I got most. But, here's Link's house. It's still empty like it was at the start of the game. But, you can always refill on hearts by removing the pots on the top left corner. So now what I want to do... Or should I? Should I hold off? No. I'll go ahead and go down here. If I can just... Get the, get the, get the, shoot! Coin cobs. Pea brains. Okay. I'm going to hang to the right over here, get a bomb out, and blow up this rock. Surprise! A cave! And it's a fairy fountain. I will soothe your wounds and comfort your weariness. Close your eyes and relax. Replenishes all hearts. So in case you're in an emergency, always come through one of these and get all fully restored. Now I want to hang like down here a little bit. Oh no, so big birds. <laughs> Then a little bit to the left. And down here there's this water sewer system. Let's head inside. And let's take care of the chest first. Which contains some more bombs. For now, I can only carry up to 10 bombs. I can increase that capacity a little bit later on. Now let's take the other way around. And watch out for the anti-fairy. I'm going to pull this switch and not the other one. The other switch is a trap. It'll probably like let off some bombs from the ceiling. So by releasing all that water, there's now a drought here. And there's a piece of heart, of course, from underneath. I'm also going to take one of these if I can catch it. Come on, fish. Yeah, just stop, stop, stop. No, get over here. Hold still. Okay, got it. I'm going to take this back to Kakariko Village, so I'll see you guys there. If you carry this fish all the way from that sewer system to the merchant right here and give it to him... Oh, shoot, false alarm. Let me try that again. Fish, fish, hey, hey. No, 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 get back here. I can't get him. Okay, got him. Let me try facing the merchant. That's better, okay. Hey, they say eating fish makes you smart. You have to give me your fish for the stuff, okay? Of course! And he gives you a whole bunch of stuff, even though you couldn't see what most of it was, because I've already collected it without even moving. Okay, I'll see you guys back towards the... the, uh, what's it called? The sewer system again. Oh look, another glitter rock. Oh, whoops, a little bit too much there. 
Hey, that's worth the money. Oh shoot, I can't get this one. No! Oh, it's gone. Darn shun. Alright, made it back. What I want to do now is head to the right. And keep heading right. There's actually one enemy that I... Ow! Where'd that come from? Oh, that soldier. What a sneaky little ninja. Well, I got him nonetheless, but where's the enemy that I want to mention or show off? <clears throat> it's gonna be around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, whoops, I killed him. Didn't mean to. Let's see, let me go ahead and... Oh, I'll take that. Let me reset. Hopefully he'll respawn. And he did, okay. <laughs> now you can't jump in the grass anymore. Just walk up to him and, and he'll say, All right, take it, thief. And he'll drop a random item. Now I'll go back down here to where I was leaving off. <clears throat> Watch out for the Octorox. Head around here, get a bomb out. And blow up this wall. Right, there's that. Now, I've heard some people have some really hard difficulties taking care of this room. But there's a little trick. Let me take care of this uh, mold dorm first, or mini mold dorm. So, in order to take care of these enemies, you need some type of projectile. You know the boomerang's not going to work. They'll just, like, ting it off, for lack of better words. Here, I'll show you. See, it does nothing. I could throw bombs over the crevice, and hopefully they'll explode and take damage by impact, but there's a better way. Watch this. <laughs> you can actually walk along the bottom part of the hole here without falling in. It doesn't work up here though, Link will just fall down to his doom. <clears throat> One more enemy. Oh, no, 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 ow, I forget! Dumb Fody. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I have one heart left. Whew, that was so close. I need to go heal once I'm done. You can hear my heart beeping. Uh, ding, ding, ding. Let's speak to him and take some rupees. But don't tell anyone I gave them to you. Keep it between us, okay? 300, so I'm almost at the 999 rupee cap. Open this up for some more bombs. I've already capped it off. 20 rupees, 20 rupees, and 20 rupees. I gotta make sure not to collect any more rupees from chests, because once you get to the rupee cap, you won't be able to like, collect any more, like it won't count. It'll be just a waste of rupees. I gotta be extra careful, because I only have one heart left. Oh, heart, 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 heart. I got it, okay, good. I just need to go back in, back to the uh, fairy fountain and heal. Just to play it safe. Eh, no, 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 no. Okay. Whew, made it. Close your eyes and relax. So now I do need to take one more detour before, before, before heading to the Eastern Palace. So I just need to go back to where that cave was and keep heading east. Yeah, here, pea brain. Some Octorox will fire in all four directions repeatedly for like a few seconds, so just watch out for that. And the crabs do very heavy damage, watch out for them as well, and they move very fast going left to right, but very slow up and down. And these. I like to call them choo-choos, but they're actually named something different and I don't remember what they are, but if you have the magic powder, sprinkle some of them, some of that onto them, and you can hear what they have to say. But I don't have the magic powder yet. A floating Octorok. Explode into a bunch of mini Octoroks. Alright, almost there. There's some more crabby patties. <laughs> watch out for them. Uh, watch out, watch out. Okay. What I want to do next is explode this wall right here. Now, I can't lift this up yet until I get the, uh, a certain glove. But I will go in this room right here, open this chest for the ice rod. You found the ice rod. It chills magic blasts. Its chill magic blasts the air. But watch your magic meter. This item is required at some point very late in the game. So if you don't get it now, you'll have to get it eventually. So I just I decide just to get it right now and just get it out of the way. 
So what's in the other cave? Well, let's find out. Looks like another bubble wall. So let's just blow that up to smithereens. And inside are a couple of smaller fairies. You can touch them to gain seven hearts. But if you equip the bug catching net and catch one, I almost just sliced one with my vanilla ice cream pop. Get over here. Okay, I got one. I caught a fairy. What will you do? You can choose to keep it in a bottle, or you can just set it free and go after it and collect some hearts. But I'm going to put it in a bottle. If you die, and you have a fairy in a bottle, the fairy will automatically revive you at that point with seven hearts. And in this cave, it's the same room with the ice rod. Now, I think you can get a magical bee here, but I can't remember how to get it. It's been a little while. I'll have to do some research on it. But I don't usually use bees in this game anyways. If you do have the glove, you can lift this up and there's an a entrance to some cave. I don't think there's much in there, but I'll come back to it once I do get the glove. But anyways, I'll meet you guys back at Link's house. Alright, and I'm back. So now, let's head towards the Eastern Palace. Now down here will be a fortune teller house. I don't know what birds got here. Ooh! Some projectiles can be reflected off your basic shield, but there are some that might be too powerful and your shield might not do its job. Just keep that in mind. I don't think there's anything down here though. There's a black 8 rock, but I can't lift that yet until I get a much better glove. And as such, like I said, just another fortune teller. I think there's a shop over here somewhere. Get out of my way! Piece of crap. Right here. I don't need anything though, I'm all set. And I don't- I cannot swim yet, so I can't go down there. Uh oh. Take this. Oh yeah, I forgot to teach you guys another little trick. Ow! That hurt! Piece of crap. Hey, get back here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hit the green one by instinct. Hold still. Will you hold still? Okay, got him. There's a certain enemy that I want to find. I guess I'll have to do it later on because they're not around here. But it's those green enemies with the feet. Again, I don't remember their names. In that cave, as soon as I take care of the soldier and probably this one too. Well, he doesn't even notice me anyways. It's another fairy fountain. Close your eyes and relax. Okay. The Eastern Palace is right up here. Just watch out for more Octorox. Now, a long way to the Eastern Palace, we do have to find the Elder. He should be right up here. Okay. He's in this house right here. There he is. I am indeed Sahasrala, the village elder and a descendant of the Seven Sages. Oh really? I am surprised that one so young is searching for the Sword of Evil's Bane, Link. Not just anyone can use that blade. Legends say only the hero who has won the three pendants can wield the sword. Do you truly wish to find it? And there are your options. There's no really, like, two-way street here. It's, uh, yeah, or, of course, I'm just gonna go for the second option. Good! For your first test, can you retrieve the Pendant of Courage from the East Palace? If you bring it here, also I shall share more of my knowledge with you. Now, onward to the palace. But after I destroy this wall... Blasty Blasty! Right, inside these chests... Uh oh, 50 rupees. I maxed out my bombs, and I got a hunch that there's going to be another 50 rupees in here, so I am not going to touch that. I'll just leave it be. Okay, so that's done. Let's open the map up. And now, as you can see, the Pendant of Courage is indeed at the East Palace. But there's also two other pendants. There's one down there in the bottom left where the desert is, and then way up top in the mountains. And of course the Master Sword is just blinging up there in the top left corner of the Lost Woods. Even though some of the screen has clipped off the tip of the sword a little bit. I think the pendant on the bottom left is the Pendant of Wisdom. And then the one on Mount uh, Death Mountain is the 
independent of power. I say that because power is like more of like has everything to do with the color red, but I could be wrong. I could be speaking out of the crack of my buttermilk pancakes and have those two reverse. But the pendant of courage is indeed the East Palace. I do know that for sure. No, yeah, these guys. Uh, they're a pain to deal with now. You can damage them with your sword, but they do take a few hits. There's an item in the East Palace that will take care of them with ease. All right, to get to the East Palace, I'll be taking the route that I'm most familiar with. Ow, ow, ow. I don't think he liked my vanilla ice cream pop. Jump down here and up the steps. And this one, I will end up getting into his line of sight. So just get to the steps quickly, okay. There. And, here's the Eastern Palace right here. Haha, <laughs> I woke them up. The East Palace. Okay, Eastern Palace, East Palace. There's not really that much of a difference. Okay, you know what? I'm going to call the episode good right here. So in the next episode, I will take care of the first dungeon of the game, the East Palace, and retrieve the... Uh, I almost said the Pendant of Courage, but it's I, I'm a little bit dyslexic. It's the Pendant of Courage, of course. Then, I'll bring it over to Sahasrala, which is a person's name that I can pronounce easily and not Aghanim, so I'm kind of like, how am I supposed to say this? In a way, people have a hard time pronouncing the word Sahasrala, but they have a pretty good time pronouncing the word Aghanim, but I am the complete opposite, just to want to get that off my chicken breast. But with that, after I get the pendant, I'll bring it over to Sahasrala, and he'll tell me more of the legend. Okay, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my general channel, Marcus P. Welby, for lots of random content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care.